Hi everyone, this is Sandy Lemke from FreeWebsiteTutorials.com. Yesterday I was on my other site, which is ThemePartyQueen.com, and I was building a web page. And it occurred to me that over the last few months I've been getting a lot of emails about how to line up photos. When you're creating a web page, how do you get your um, photos lined up and wrap text around um, different objects as you're building a web page? So as I was building this pear vodka martini, uh, recipe, I ran into the same issues I always do when I'm trying to place an image and trying to get text to wrap around it. So I decided to do this quick video to share with you how I actually do it. So, you know, just to give you an example, if you're, you've got a little bit of text here and some, some whatever images that you want text to wrap around, you know, typically what you're going to find is your text comes too close to the image or maybe you want your image moved over a little bit maybe you want it moved up or down well what I have learned over a lot of trial and error as I was building this first site is that if you just get used to using a standard image call that has the exact same um, HTML code every single time and you just copy that exact same code from one HTML document to the next then all you have to do is alter the code. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I go over here, I'm in front page by the way. If I go over here and I look at my code for that particular image you were just looking at, you'll notice that I've got a paragraph here of my text and then right here is where my image call is. What I do every single time I build a web page is I copy this exact code and I just paste it into the next document so that everything I need in order to align this thing properly and to get my text to wrap around it is already there. So for example, you'll notice right here, this is the, the server where that image is located and there's the name of my image. I always have a line, I always have H space, I always have V space the alt tag which is really important we'll talk about that in a minute the title tag and then of course the height and the width of the um, object itself in this case an image then I also you know in a lot of cases I like to have a border around my object uh, so I include the HTML code to put a border around it I don't always use every single one of these like you'll notice right here my H space and my V space are both set to zero um, you know, sometimes I leave it that way. Other times I alter it. For this particular um, web page, though, I obviously need to alter it. If we go back and we look at this, you know, this is too close here. So typically, what I will always start with is an H space, which is going to get that text away from that image a little bit of at least 10. And I start just by altering the H space. The other thing that I do right away is I figure out which side of the text do I want my image to appear on. In this case, I want it to appear on the right side of my text. If I wanted it to uh, the text to be on the the right side and the image on the left, then I would make my image align left. But in this case, I'm going to leave it at right. So let's just take a quick look at what changing this H space to 10 actually does. Okay see look what it did it moved this away just the amount of space that I needed now the other thing that I sometimes will do depending on how big my image is you know sometimes I don't have enough text to go down the whole length of my image maybe my image is bigger than my text in some cases my text is bigger than my image what I do with that is I use vSpace Okay, V space over here, if you'll notice, I'm going to do it something huge so you can see what the effect is. I'm going to make it 20 instead of 0. What does that 20 do? Okay, obviously you can see that it moved that image way down. Now we have a bunch of space up here. So V space moves your image up and down this way. H space moves it this way. And it creates kind of a border around the image so that your text doesn't run into it. You know, obviously V space of 20 is too much. So I kind of looked how that, I liked how that looked with just zero. So I'm going to get that out of there. Let's go back and quickly see what that did, what that does. Okay, V space of zero looks pretty good in this case. Now, typically what you'll want in this type of image is, you know, maybe you don't want this to start like this. Okay, maybe you want that to be all the way down to the bottom. That's where this um, break 
I've got it zeroed out now, but I mean I've got it commented out. But if I take this off of here, if I have this clear equals all, okay, and I go back and look at this, now see what that did? It forced the text to be below my image. And you know, obviously that's a little bit still tight. So what I would do is I would just copy this, copy, and you know, put at least one more in and see what that does. Now that's enough space for me. Now, you know, you wouldn't normally use that in this kind of setup because you don't want all this extra space here. So I wouldn't do it in this case. I would rather let my text kind of wrap around that image like it was before. But you're going to have situations where you've got a lot of text, you know, going this way and your image will be, you know, maybe shorter than than the text and you're going to want to use that break tag in order to get rid of all the text away from the image. So hopefully this is just a very basic um, image and wrapping text around an image. Hopefully this will give you enough information to set this up for yourself. Just bottom line, just remember to always use the same tag. That way you can come in here and adjust these things as you want. If you didn't want that border, you would just change this to zero pixels right here and there'd be no border. If you wanted to change the color, you could put in uh, any kind of color name you want. Perhaps you want it to be gray or red, whatever. If you wanted it to be dotted, you could change this word to dotted. Um, and then of course you know that you always have to have your height and width in there. Real quick, I want to say something about the alt tag here. This alt tag right here, always, always, always when you're putting an image in, use an alt tag. A lot of, this is helpful from a search engine standpoint, they will find, search engines will find your web page uh, and your images if, if you're really good about using keyword rich alt tags. I have a, a page on this site in particular, this Theme Party Queen site, it's a Bunko page. I have a number two spot on Google just because I have a really good alt tag, it's very descriptive. That is what the search engines are going to um, look for. This over here, this title tag though, you want some of the browsers don't. Um, when you hover over an image, let's go back real quick. If you hover over an image, see how that pear vodka martini word came up there? If I didn't have that title in here like this, you wouldn't see it when I hovered. Because I'm using Firefox as my browser, a lot of the browsers don't hover, uh, when you hover they don't show you um, the alt tag unless you have this title in here. So a lot of image calls you'll know, you'll see this um, and that's good enough for the search engines but if you want to see it when you hover in all browsers you need to make sure you add this title tag. Okay so that's all I have for you today hopefully that's helpful come back and visit freewebsitetutorials.com we've got all different kinds of um, website tutorials for you and we hope you have a good day.